Hello everybody, my name is Luis Sanchez. I'm presenting today a work on group price concept registration. It's already second order entropy. Uh, problems involving point set registration are very common in applications such as pattern recognition, medical imaging, and robotics, as well as many other applications. For point set registration, typically a set of locations of characteristic points in an image are detected and then these points then are aligned with other point sets from other objects or a template. Commonly for this, we provide a set of correspondence of the points and then the alignment is computed based on this correspondence. This has a problem with outliers and missing points. So in here, we propose a global approach where the point sets are represented as probability density functions. By representing the points as probability density functions, we make our method more robust through the presence of outliers. Uh, but then the question comes when you have multiple sets to be aligned simultaneously. So what kind of templates you can use? What would be the good cost, for, cost function for this? What we propose here is to use any second order entropy. And our algorithm is, has the advantage of there is no need for explicit templates. There is an iterative algorithm for, uh, with closed form updates, and this is robust to outliers, perturbed features, and missing points. Instead of working with the entropy directly, we focus our attention in the, in the logarithm of the Rennie second order the entropy. So uh, we have here an estimator of Rennie second order entropy, for which we just look at the argument of the log function, what, what we call information potential. The information potential has a special property that if we take a group of point sets and represent as PDFs, then the sum of the PDFs, the information potential of the sum of the PDFs is properly bound by the sum of the information potential of each PDF taken individually. When all the densities are the same, then these two terms become equal. So the cost function that we propose is taking the difference between these two terms of the inequality. Intuitively, we can think about this objective as, as trying to match the spread of the point sets all together with the spread calculated for each point individually. But the transformation that we use is a combination of an affine and a non-rigid component. The non-rigid component, uh, we use radial basis function expansion, and then we decouple the affine and the non-rigid transformations using QR decomposition and we apply a non-penalty on the weights of the non-rigid transformation to make the, the function robust to local perturbation. So let's see the, the method aligning multiple features. Uh, as we can see, with this method, we are able to align multiple shapes simultaneously. There is no explicit template, so the, the method, all the point sets align to the same. Uh, with the presence of outliers, we can have two cases when we have, like, for example, a set of points that are outliers because there is a false uh, contour or, for example, arbitrary points. In both cases, our method is able to align the image simultaneously. The effects of regularization on the non rigid component, we can see that if we apply a high penalty, uh, then the non rigid uh, component is made more stiff, and then this is in cases where the point set estimation is not as robust. Uh, for more details, please come to our poster number 32. Thanks.